guys, I'm sure coming at you today, Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. I'm glad to have you here today. We're going to open up a bunch of Void Shards, 222 to be exact, all in efforts in getting our hands on Shuzen the Valorous. Shuzen the Valorous, very, very cool champion. First off, I had to thank you guys, man. The video that thousands will quit when we talk about kind of the, uh, the concern I have a little bit for the state of the game with the new mythical champions and Prism, not Prism Shards, Primal too many shards man primal shards anyway i asked you guys to wish my little guy a happy birthday and thousands of you wished him a happy birthday man we actually had some fun he was shocked he was like all these people know me i'm like kinda kinda they're all friends with dad dad so thank you guys that was so cool of you guys seriously and some really cool comments about people who watch with their kids uh also i saw that donut here uh my wife and i watch uh all of your videos that is so cool man i love hearing from you guys in that regard so i just wanted to start with uh, a little bit of gratitude towards you all we're gonna jump into it here we're gonna open up we have a 10 times shot as I said, for a bunch of champions here, but we're interested in the Void uh, right over here. Well, we just saw her, right? Very good. I'm not going to go over a kit until, until, not unless, until we pull her. What's wrong with being confident? Uh -huh. We're going to do $100 for every legendary that we pull towards the ARC. Uh, the ARC is an organization that helps people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. My brother uh, passed away. He was autistic. They did a lot to help him and my family. I actually saw, I was going through old pictures. And I found a picture of me and my bro when we were little guys. You can see there. I look just like my son. Anyway, guys, uh, because this is a very expensive video to make, before we jump into it here, a quick word from our sponsor. But first, step into the world of our video sponsor today. It is Bloodline Heroes of Lythas, guys. Bloodline Heroes of Lythas is a stunning RPG hero collector game. It's really one of the most unique gotcha games that I have ever played. Uh, essentially, well, you can make bloodlines in this game, right? Let me tell you a little bit about it. We got vampires in this game. We have dwarves, we have lichens, we have dragonborn. Uh, what else? Demigods, elves. Yeah, basically you can forge your own legendary champions inside Bloodline. So first off, and probably the best part of the game, totally free to download. Go ahead and use my link or the QR code on the screen, iOS or Android. It all works, guys. Go ahead and download now. And second, going back to the most unique gotcha experience that I was talking about earlier, there's over 4,000 hybrid possibilities uh, in this game. Basically, you're marrying off champions to create their very own unique bloodlines. Very cool stuff, endless possibilities. Now, this game has constant updates, guys. We're talking every two weeks, a new bloodline. Uh, we're talking each gender. We're talking the companions. The whole nine is released inside the game, okay? We had, most recently, the Tide Raisers. They're kind of like demigods uh, from the sea. Very cool stuff. Now, you've heard me say it before, guys, but the graphics are, are, are insane in this game. Like, very, very pleasing aesthetically to look at, to experience. It's an immersive game, and it's also kind of the, the perfect kind of side game with the top 3D graphics experience all rolled into one. Remember, new bloodlines and legendary hybrids are constantly being released in this game, guys. So go ahead and immerse yourself in Bloodline Heroes of Lightass. The download is free on both iOS and Android. I also have a $20 starting pack for you guys. No big deal. We get one summoning crystal. We get 100,000 gold. We get 100 diamonds. And the first 30 players who leave their in-game user ID and username in the first pinned comment of today's YouTube video will receive a free legendary female champion the luxuriant the luxuriant so go ahead and have a blast with her guys now she is one of the best mages to carry you in the early game thank you bloodline heroes of light Bass, for sponsoring today's video all right guys i appreciate you uh, supporting the sponsors here on the uh channel i try to put them on shard opening videos because these are the costly ones, and I want to be clear with you guys too, I think it's worth saying out the gate here that there's no way in hell I would be opening 222 Void Shards, or, or doing any Shard opening for that matter, uh, without getting sponsors from time to time here on the channel. They do pay, uh, they help pay for the Shards obviously, and they also help pay for the uh, the donations, right? I'm able to give some back as well through that, uh, through those, those, those promotions, those sponsorships. So, I appreciate you guys, I know it can be, uh, you know, annoying at times to have to fast forward on your free video you know <laughs> anyway guys here we are here we are here we are we have a lot of blues so far ethan the golden uh pretty dang cool champ I, I like this dude man he does damage he self buffs increased accuracy increased crit damage extra turn comes in with the aoe times two block active skills i mean he's a very good void epic he's not like 
I wouldn't call him a top 10 epic in the game or anything that crazy, but he's cool. I think he's uh, worth taking a look at. See if you can use that skill set. Uh, keep it going here. What do we get? No, no, no Legos. Tree Shield, not. I really like that dude. The only dual reviver rare out there in the game. Uh, we have Madam Ceres, who's still amazing. Dagger. I'm not a big fan of Dagger. I know some of you guys are, but I want the 100% decreased defense, you know? Give me War Maiden any day. Farmable rare, too. Uh, okay, if you're going to be a, a little tangent, if you're going to be a void rare, at least give me 100% on your on your debuff, right? Uh, Skathix. Not a bad champ there, Skathix. He has a pretty good cleanse on the uh, on the A3. Uh, block debuffs and a shield for two turns. It's on a four-turn cooldown, but the block debuffs does last for two turns. He also has a, uh, a decreased speed, a pretty dependable one here on the A1. So, not a bad champion. Not a great, great champion, but not bad. Not bad. Can definitely get some utility out of him. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. We get Relic Tender, Another Reviver. Another Cleanser. All in one. Golden Reaper. I think she, uh, Golden Reaper is also on a 10 time. So we'll be seeing a lot of Golden Reaper today, guys. Uh, Golden. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Ah! Is actually really good despite his pathetic wings uh, do i comment too much on wings here on the channel guys do you think i do do you think i do well who cares apropos of nothing it's top three wings in rain shadow legends number three mithrala life bay number two sissia flame tongue whoa in number one wings in Raid Shadow Legends, it's Cardio! Look at these wings, look at these wings! Honorable mention to... Astralon! Astralon has the same wings as Cardio, only they're red. Yeah, bitch. I just noticed that. You know who doesn't have great wings? Bellinor doesn't have great wings, ladies and gentlemen. So what does he do? Actually, he's pretty dang good now. He really is. He got a big buff. He has an AoE decreased defense and a weaken on a three-turn cooldown. Uh, a la Venus, a la Draco Morph, uh, or Lydia the Death Siren. Overkill still does an incredible amount of damage. So he's a great damage dealer and debuffer. Just a champion that, frankly... We don't need on this account, at least. I'll take him on the mini, but we don't need him on this account. Uh, he does have the pretty cool tactical partner, especially in Ice Golem Hard. Pretty good combo if you're lucky to have Xavier and Bellinor on the same squad. Either way, a very, very capable debuffer. Void affinities, not to worry about affinity matchups. Good champion overall. Uh, okay. Let's keep it going. Of course we of course we didn't get the 10 time. Why would we get the 10 time champion? Uh be right back. Let me make room. All right guys, we're back. Let's do this. Let's do this. We still have 170 to go. 172 to be exact. We got plenty of time for Legos. For good Legos. I mean, Bellinor's good, but you know what I'm saying. If you're gonna give me a non-10x, at least give me Graz or Iron Gut or Taurus or something like that. Come on, Plarium. Yurgrim, I'm still a big fan of. Bellinor, I love. And Coltar, I love. That's about it. Not a big fan of Ragemonger times two. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. We get a Mal Branch, we get a Steadfast, we get a Paragon, we get a Viscerator, we get a Hollow. We get an Ox, Gear Grinder, Rock Beast, Ifrit, and Marquise. Okay, that's super exciting. I know you guys are probably, you know, edge of your seat right now. Cannot contain the excitement. Bellinor, Skirmisher, Basher. Basher's solid. Bellinor is super solid. Uh, and then we get Kurzad Deepheart. I, I love, I've said it a billion times here on the channel. I'm going to say it a billion and one today, guys. AoE with increased accuracy, big version on free turn cooldown with decreased defense, albeit the small version, is still an amazing ability. This guy, even as like an arena setup champion, for a lot of players out there, more than actually utilize him. Having even the weak version decreased defense and the increased accuracy out there, uh, it's just really, really good combo to start arena battles. Uh, great in a stun set with two AoEs on a three turn cooldown for any Doom Tower hard floor. I just love that little dwarf, man. He's squishy, but I, I like him. He does damage too. Rowan, nah. Scrapper, Ragemonger, Fellhound. 
Okay, Ash Walker, we love you, man. We love you. Dagger, we don't. Renegade, we do. <laughs> Anybody but freaking Angar. I'll even take Harrier over Angar. I almost don't want to say his name because if I get another freaking Angar on a 10 time video, I will quit YouTube right here, right now. Might be a little hyperbolic there. Tracy will not, Cold Heart, Doomscreed, Chevalier, Abelaster, Hollow. And be right back. We're back, guys. I get kind of oddly optimistic whenever I go into a new batch. I'm like, 122, we're basically guaranteed the legendary, aka a 0.05% chance of pulling any legendary ash. Uh, we do have a Kurzad times one, times two, times now three, maybe even more that I missed. Golden Reaper, Ash Walker, Day Walker, Paragon Walker. I need more Void Rares that are actually good, maybe? Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Bulwark Fanatic, we get a uh, Gear Grinder. You know what, after this, we just need a lightning round. You guys need some Legos, or you're gonna click off my video. I can just, I can feel it right now. I can feel a few of you in the audience right now are like, okay, I'm gonna click off this bull. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Marquise, Ragemonger, Tree Shield again, Bulwark again, Cold Heart again. Oh my God, Panthera, Veteran, we get it, we get it. Gear Grinders, we know, we know all the rares by now. Broadmaw, 10 more, and then I think I have to make room after this next batch and then stay tuned for Lightning Round where things really get crazy, boys and girls. We have Bloodhorn, Panthera, and an Eviscerator. A Daywalker, a Retainer, a Golden Reaper times 150 now. We have a Relic Retender, we have a Tree Shield, not a Scrapper, and I lied. One more batch, Ripper Fist. I'm getting all of these batches confused because of the same damn champions. Here we go, it's a... Mm. Okay, you see how I get discouraged towards the end of a batch? Yeah, Cage Bound, Ethlin the Golden again. Listen, we liked you on the first time we pulled you. Now I'm getting a little sick of you, Ethlin. Ethlin, whatever your name is. Gala Lombraids, we love Gala here on the channel. Be right back again. Lightning round. All right, guys, it's go time. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get ready, strap onto your seats, boys and girls. We have lightning round. Boom, Legos! Hey, we get Ayala Life Braid. She's a new-ish epic champion. She's got a revive, or not? She's not. She doesn't have a revival ash. You're thinking of the other one. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So she's. Uh, I mean, what I meant to say is, uh, destroyed restores destroyed max HP on the A1. She's got an increased accuracy on all allies for two turns. You guys know. I already told you how much I love the increased accuracy on a three-turn cooldown. 100% sleep. What is she, a Sand Devil Specialist with the restoring, the sleep, the increased accuracy, and the block debuffs, and then the heal. Yeah, I mean, she's a pretty dang good uh, uh, stone. Oh, yes! Yes, I made a whole video talking about her. How could I be so stupid? 12% uh, chance of guaranteeing an act... 12% chance of activating a give extra turn effect on this champion or an ally after using an active skill. This is a very... Very cool passive. I am going to build this champion. Finally, something that I can actually talk about in this video. I'm gonna build her and try her out. I don't think she's like broken good, but she is unique. That's for dang sure, right? There's another champion they just added with an extra turn. I don't even wanna mention whose name it is, uh, but uh, we'll talk more about that later. We have, okay, lightning round. Boom! <sighs> Aboro, Cardinal, Swai, and Andresia. Andresia is a cool champion, man. She really is. A lot of players sleep on this champion, so really quickly, she's a mini, and I say very mini, Necret the Great, right? She's got this ability uh, over here. At the start of each turn, not the round, but the turn, has an ally protect for two turns in the alley, lowest ma max HP, will not place on this champion. Also plays a strengthen, increased defense buff on this champion for two turns to help with the ally protect. It's a nice passive there, right? Helping out the, uh, you know, the squishiest champion or nuker on your team, right? And then she has an AoE, uh, decreased duration of all enemy buffs by two turns, uh, super solid. Two turns is sometimes, most of the times, all you need, right? Got an increased duration of increased defense, nice, on a three-turn cooldown. And then she has a stun, a chance of a two-turn stun on a three-turn cooldown. People really, really sleep on her. Doesn't she have something on her A1 too? She has a decreased crit damage, okay. Yeah. All right. 
All right, next up, next up, next up, next up, next up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lightning round, here we go, Legos. Give it to me! Okay, 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 okay. Come on, man. Come on, Plarium. Jeez. Money, 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 I didn't pull one of the, uh, the top champions that I wanted, but I did pull arguably the best champion in the game. It's Siffy the Lost Bride, ladies and gentlemen. She has an unresistible sleep if their turn meter is over 50% or a heal if it's under 50%. She has a block debuff, an increased speed, an increased defense, a turn meter filled by 10%, uh, all in a three turn cooldown. A uh, four turn cooldown, it was three until she was nerfed uh, a year or two ago. Still a great ability. Uh, one of the best, if not the best, arena champion in the game. And then you can use her as a support pretty much anywhere else in the game as well. She's got a revive with a full turn meter, 55% HP. She's got all this stuff about cleansing and healing. She fully cleanses Rhodos uh, every single turn. It's amazing when you put them together. She's got incredible base stats as well. This is not her at max right now. She's got resist in all battles by 80. No big deal. I got kind of thrown off by the double Harriers right in front of her. But Siffy the Lost Bride... You can't complain about Siffy, the Lost Bride, can you guys? You can't complain about it. All right, I'm feeling a little bit better about this video. All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Can we get, like, back-to-back -back Legos? Crazier things have happened. I just feel like they haven't happened in a long, long time, <laughs> to be real with you guys. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, so, what do we have left here? What do we have? We have 22 to go. Maybe magically, like, 10 or 20 more will pop in there. Be right back. All right, guys, we've come back for more. This is it, though. This is it. This is the last batch that we're going to open in today's video. Do we need any more? Golly, paying 15 salaries at, uh, at Plarium for this video. Here we go. Bellower, Abalaster, blah, 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 blah. Daywalker, Broadmaw. You guys get the point, right? Next. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We get a Myoclis, a Pain Smith, and a bunch of blues. Exciting stuff. A lot of cold hearts here. Don't need them, but it's cool nonetheless. I wish I could give one of those cold hearts over to the mini account. That'd be cool. So we could have two there. That would be, that would be real awesome. All right, here we go. A bunch of blues, bunch of blues, bunch of blues. Yep, bunch of blues. All right, this is it, guys. This might be it. This, this, it, do I have 20 left or, or 16 left? I, I don't know. Here we go. Dagger, we get a, a another Myoclus. Myoclus. Uh, Genbo. What's up, man? River Fist. Panthera. Runekeeper Daz Dirk. Uh, Ayala Life Braid times two. Okay, we're going to have to do solo dolo opens here, guys. This is it. We have six left, man. Never, never, never. I, the last time that I've gotten a 10X, when it was on a 10X, I truly cannot even remember. I cannot even remember or recall the last time that I got a 10X. Is it time to put them on a 20X? There's so many champions in this game at this point, you know? I feel like I say this at the end of every video, too. I apologize, guys. The video starts so promising, and then it ends with me, like, ranting about... 10x is, 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 but, but, but what is, <laughs> but who's the idiot who keeps pulling during 10x? <laughs> White Dryad Naya, we love her, we love her, she got AoE decreased speed, she got the, uh, the reset cooldowns, and the, uh, the cleanse, and the, the heal on a target ally, the, the ally protection to strengthen three turn cooldown, the, uh, the overflow heal as well in that passive, really, really cool champion from the, uh, Sylvan Watchers faction. Alright guys, here it is, here it is, we get a blue... And then we get a the last shard of the entire video. It's not going to be what we want. We know that. So who's it going to be? What blue is it going to be here? Day Walker. All right, guys. There it is. $200 for charity. Hey, we did pull the best, arguably the best Void Legendary inside the entire game. So can we really complain? No. $200, as I said uh, on the screen right now. Thank you guys for watching all the way till the end. Much love. Hopefully you had better luck than I did. Or maybe... I don't know. Do I have bad luck or good luck? I have no idea. Uh, thank you for watching either way. And as always, take care, guys.